This video fueled by Knuckle Energy. What is going on guys, it's Dio here with Return of Dio Gaming and Real Life Riding here on YouTube and uh, bringing you some real life riding from today, uh, it was from yesterday, today I'm bringing you some real life riding from yesterday. Uh, this is the same day that my bike seized up, but um, luckily enough it didn't seize up on my first ride of the day, uh, this was my first ride of the day after, of course letting the bike up, uh, warm up if you're going to say I got right on and that's why it blew up, no it warmed up in the pits for a long time. Anyway though, um, pretty much what I want to talk about today is... Um, I've been I've been going and riding a lot, and I always call it practicing. And um, a lot of people ask me, Dio, when you're gonna race? Love to see you race. And for the past few years, I've wanted to really bad. Um, and this year, I was looking at SRAC memberships, and that's uh, that's what the organization is in Colorado. SRAC. There's RMXA and SRAC. Doesn't matter. But uh, and then sign up for AMA, and I was thinking about getting all that going because. Uh, SRAC actually has a two-stroke B and C class, open two-stroke, and I was thinking that'd be so much fun to rip my 125 on, have a lot of fun with that. But um, the past few years, every time I really got serious and, you know, kind of knuckled down, I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm going to race, I'm going to sign up, something has happened. Um, first, it was breaking my wrist for the first time when I was 19, four years ago, and um, then it was money situations, and, uh, and then last year, I got my wrist redone, I got the plate pins out and had some ligaments fixed inside there, so that kind of busted me out of wanting to race. And then this year is when I found out about this two-stroke B and C class, and I was really excited. I really thought I was going to do it. And then last week, you guys probably saw the video. If not, I'll have it posted here. But uh, my dad crashed really hard. He uh, dislocated his hip, broke his pelvis. He had to go to the hospital, uh, you know, emergency room. Then he had to have surgery the next morning to repair his hip. Or no, to, to repair his pelvis. Uh, he needs to get a hip replacement eventually. But um, he's actually still tied up in the hospital. He's been there a week as of yesterday, and they're hoping he'll be home by um, Wednesday or Thursday um, and then be in a wheelchair for six to eight weeks. Uh, thank you guys so much, though, on that video. Everyone's real supportive on Twitter, on my Facebook, on the video. Everyone's saying hope he heals up soon. Uh, it means a lot to both me and him. So thank you so much. And then, of course, to my mom and my family in general. But... Um, so that I kind of saw that I was like, you know, is that a sign that I shouldn't race? Because I've had all these signs in the past. Something is keeping me from racing. And is my dad crashing a sign? And then, you know, I kind of went back and forth. And we had an off weekend this weekend that I'm riding here. And the next race was actually the second one of the series. And it was at my hometown track, Aztec, that I practice at every single weekend, you know. So um, I was like, you know, I really want to do it. It might be kind of a pain. I'm not going to have my dad there to support me and get my bike ready, be my, you know, factory mechanic, as it were. But, um... Then I go and ride Aztec this week, and I'm trying to pound out some motos, kind of get myself in, in race pace, see if, if I am ready, and my bike seizes. Um, and I mean, there's no clearer sign than that. I was kind of iffy when my dad crashed, and then my bike seizes, it's not even going to be ready for next week. And I'm, I'm truly just taking that as a sign from, if, if you believe in God, I do, if you believe in God and stuff, um, then yeah, he, he's saying, you know what, Daniel, there's, there's a reason you're not r racing. If you don't believe in God, that's fine. I'm not here to judge, but you know, there, there's always something. If you want to believe in like karma and the universe, like the Alessis or whatever, something is keeping me from racing. And, um, and I, I used to race. I, I raced a PW50. I raced a KTM50. I raced a KX60. And then, um, things got more and more expensive and races got further and further away and we just kind of got out of it. I've, I've rode this whole time in between but I haven't actually been a racer and I really want to get back into it but now I'm realizing something doesn't want me to and I, I just I'm not going to stop riding but I'm going to give up the racing dream. Not that I was knew I was going to like go pro or the riders or anything obviously not but just in general, um, local races and stuff. I might do like the Wednesday night races at Aztec and the Saturday morning races when those come around, maybe. But for now, I'm just gonna be what I call a pro practicer. And I tweeted the other day, I thought it was kind of funny, but I feel like a doctor who says uh, it's their practice. They're always practicing, but what are they practicing for? And that's really how I feel now. It's like, I go to the track and I say, yeah, I'm gonna go, go practice. It's just a practice day, but for me, that's just what it is. I love to ride my dirt bike, I love motocross, but for whatever reason, racing isn't for me. I really want to get into it. I know you guys would have loved videos like that, but just when you have so many things go wrong every time that you're wanting to get into racing, you really just have to take a step back and say, okay, what's going on? Why, why am I having all this bad luck? And 
uh, just try not to push it so that's really what I'm doing now uh, like I said though still gonna ride of course and I really want to start hitting different tracks I know Aztec videos get old I love Aztec to death and especially getting into summer the tracks gonna be more like what it is in this video but even better with ruts and lines and uh, deep deep uh, dirt instead of being this hard packed track like it gets in the winter just because everything freezes but, so I will get to some other tracks, you guys will still see footage from other places, private tracks, Lakewood, the Thunder Valley National, whatever I can get to uh, once I rebuild my bike. But I just wanted to, to kind of let you guys know and just uh, see what your thoughts on that. Have you ever had a situation like that where you really want to race and you just get these feelings and these signs like, you know, uh, the tire on your trailer is flat when you go to go race or something like that and it's just... Some things you can't argue with, especially when it's it's been happening for me for four years straight. Um, like I said, since breaking my wrist for the first time, maybe even dislocating my shoulder back when I was um, 16 in high school, I think it was. But um, this guy pulls on the track, kind of. I, I obviously got away from him pretty sketchy, and that dude blew by me. Though <laughs> I got a little, I got a little sketchy there as he went by. I'm not gonna lie, but um, so yeah, I just want to give an update and uh, just completely label myself as a pro practicer and really the worst part about that is when you ride motocross and someone says oh so do you race or I mean after they ask if you can do a backflip of course they ask if you race and it, it's always kind of a, a hard pill to swallow when you're just like mm, no I used to but I don't now you know but uh, you got to look out for number one and if you love motocross like I, I put this on my personal Facebook the other day I still love it I still hang, love hanging out with my friends I want to ride every weekend but uh, I'm not going to line up on a gate and go balls to the wall and end up wadding my brains out when um, so much is clearly telling me not to. And just so you know, when that dude passed me, the roost, you can hardly tell on the GoPro, it wasn't like getting up that high. Killer roost. The roost at Aztec this this day hurt so bad. But um, yeah, so thank you guys for watching. Um, I'll probably cut this short because we're only like halfway through this GoPro footage. But um Really excited about the Hero 3 footage. Um, as my other video said, I do have a new PC and I can actually watch this I'll watch this footage without it being choppy and it's freaking awesome. I love it so much. And I'm um, having a lot of fun. Like I had that mand handlebar mount, mandlebar mount, that handlebar mount uh, when my bike sees and I'm definitely gonna, gonna be messing around with some other mounts. You know, I have, I have my chesty, I have that GoPro arm that aims back at you. I have the handlebar mount. I have two GoPros now so I can get two different views, but um, Anyway, I, I really hope you guys understand. I mean, none of you are going to talk me into racing anyway. But I uh, hope you understand why I don't have racing on my channel. And I'm probably not going to, like I said, unless I do one of those Wednesday night races just for fun or whatever. But that's all I really have to say about this. Because I'm just going to keep repeating myself. I know I already have been. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you everyone who watches my videos, likes them, leave, leaves comments. I love reading the comments even when it's just about... I mean, whatever, thoughts on a live or the new Supercross game, or, uh, of course, I really love it when people are talking about the footage and what they see and stuff like that. So, thank you guys for watching. Um, I'll still be pumping out videos once I get my bike fixed, and, uh, of course, you know, the video game videos will always be coming. So, uh, like I said, though, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, until next time, take it easy. If it's easy, take it twice, and I'll talk to you guys later.